So how many farmers do you know who go out and do important farming fencing work to graze environmentally friendly? You have a cat who get, takes a ride on your shoulder. It's oven mitt today. It's not time. <laughs> Here you can see I've got the dogs. Java's very excited. <laughs> and the horses are waiting for me to finish so they can come onto the new stretch of grass. <laughs> now we are down. <laughs> oh, goodness me. That's what uh, farming with my animal friends is like. We're farming for the environment. Oh, and by the way, there's a huge number of dung beetles. It's brilliant. Uh, the dung beetle population is getting better and better here. I can't tell you. Yay! Here's everybody else. And uh, this one here, who keeps jumping up on my shoulders. I'm underneath my grandfather's walnut tree that he probably planted 50 or 60 years ago. It could be as old as I am, or it could be older. It's a rather big one. It's rather lovely how big it is. Anyway, there are the horses, so I better start doing this. And uh, puppy's having a lovely time with that stick. Yes. Oh, and the big dog steals it. No fair for puppies. Oh, he's got a mini stick. Perfect. <laughs> oh, did you get a mini stick or is there something digging in the ground? Oh, there's something lovely in the ground. Oh, I don't want to think what lovely thing there is in there that the dogs like. There's Miss Daisy Rose over to the left. And the dogs are romping. So I better get back to what I'm doing, which is fencing to let the horses out on some fresh ground. You can see it's lovely grass and mustard taking in the view. There we go. Before I let the horses in, I need to put up a bit of an electric fence to protect my alders. Now, this fence is here to protect from the sheep. This is so that these trees can all get established. And these are very close to the edge here. This is the fence. <laughs> See, these are my assistants and they can lean over and just eat what they want. So they could eat right up to the um, edge of the tree uh, or the trunk rather, and maybe even strip some of the bark. So I'm putting this electric fence, which will bring them out a bit. So they'll reach over and be able to nibble the stuff nearest, but they can't get near the trunk. So in, in, this, air, in this plantation, there are also there's a baby oak tree right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a baby oak tree that um, uh, I grew from seed. There is a spindle I grew from a um, cutting. There's more elder. Um, here's a, another rowan is right there. That's a uh, mountain ash rowan. And then right there is uh, an oak tree. So I'm also protecting those from the sheep. But at the moment, I'm going to be drilling holes in the fence so that the horses can only browse a little bit of my alder trees. Here's another rowan. See, I don't want them to get the rowans. So it's a plantation of uh, alder, rowan, oak. There's some horse chestnut, spindle. I'll be planting more spindle in here because as you know from previous videos, I love my spindle. I'll bring, I'll show you in this video uh, that it's turning colors. This log is a great playground for dogs and sheep, but these guys are patiently waiting for me. So I better get to work. So you can see now when this is tight, it's loose at the moment. I haven't tightened it yet. But when it's tight, it'll keep the horses well away. They might be able to nibble the nearest leaves over the electric fence, but they don't want to touch the electric fence. Here, as you can see, is my work crew lounging around on the poor old oak tree. This was such a magnificent tree. I loved it. It was great for climbing when I was a child. But a big old storm took it out, sadly. Anyway, I've got to keep 
doing the electric fence because the horses are going to want to come in and have their extra grass, which is in here. <laughs> hey, you poppers. Hey, you. <laughs> oh. Now, come on, everybody. I need to... Trying to film myself, film myself drilling a hole. <laughs> and, uh, well, I've got to take this bit of fence down first to put the hole in there. But uh, everybody's joined in. Isn't that right? Everybody's joined in. How's my beautiful girl? One day I'll be able to ride you again when my neck injury is better. I miss riding so much. You are so good. You're such a beautiful girl. Look at that. My happy family assistance. <laughs> oh, a sneeze. Was that a sneezy pup? Scare the horse away. <laughs> Too adorable. <laughs> okay, nearly done. Oh, and look, here's my other assistant here. He's still hanging out. So now he's having a bath uh, while I'm doing this. Oh, somebody's just arrived. <laughs> they might be coming to buy eggs, but I better go find out who it is. The, this puppy is a really good guard dog, as you can see. <laughs> oh, it's nerve wracking, those big horses, aren't they? Their heads are, their noses are bigger than you. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. Right there, stuck in there. And it was literally, I kid you not, the last one. I was doing this line of fence posts here so the horses don't lean over to eat my young beech trees. And, um,. The stake ate the drill bit. How annoying. And it was literally the last one. See, the bag's empty. Ah, honestly, sometimes you try and go and do a job and something like this happens. And it's not like this post was made of stone or something. To break, see the drill bit is right in there on that side, in that hole where I drilled. I was just making it easier for myself because you can still screw these in by hand. But I was literally just using, and you know, I'm not exactly the st strongest person in the world, but um, so it's not like that stake was too hard for the drill bit. It just fucking snapped. So I screwed this one in without the help of drilling a hole first. Ah, and I mean, literally, this is the last one that I have. I have to go get some more because you can see there's one, two more posts. But anyway, I've gotten it this far and I've put the fence around. There you can see the electric fence to protect the um, elders and that plantation. And there are the horses. And I'm going to open the fence now and let them out. <laughs> Tom is loving being so high up that he can talk to the horses almost to their face. He thinks this is the best thing ever. <laughs> I 
Well, the horses are getting impatient. They want to come through the electric fence. And Mustard has been my constant companion, sitting here on this log overseeing everything. So I've got to figure out where the opening is that I put in this fence now. I think it's down here somewhere. So, oh look, there's part of it right there. And then this top one I think is further down. Okay, so I've got to go do that now. And then you can come into the fresh grass. All this lovely triangle of fresh grass is what they're looking for. Very patiently waiting. <laughs> yes, silly pup. Yes, silly paparoozies. Okay, enough dawdling and admiring my dogs communicating with the horses. <laughs> He's like, this is annoying, this electric fence stuff. There must be a vole or something in there. Inca's very excited. Come on, pup. Come here. Good boy. You gonna get up there? That's the safe place to be. Exactly. Now... I'm going to open this, and these guys are going to gallop through. Well, trot through. Hey, 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 Inca, leave it be. They don't have far to go. They just have the fresh grass around here now. So, that all that electrical work is done. And you were safe up on the log, weren't you? Them horses galloping is scary stuff, isn't it? Very scary. Yeah, I know. They big make noise and very scary. But they'll settle down and eat soon enough. Hey, 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 Inca! No! Brindle! 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 Leave it be! They're fine! Brindle! Ah. Hey, Brindle! No! Leave it! Leave it, leave it. Good girl. And you, stop barking. <laughs>